Welcome back to Morris Family Studio. I am here with Steven, of course, y'all know Deuce, and Angelie Dixon. And we are talking about opportunities through hashtag homeschool your kids, yes. right? Oppert that's not really a hashtag, y'all, we made it up. But just an opportunity that they had as students of uh, Stride K-12 that we want y'all to know about that some people don't know about. A lot of times we get questions about how do your kids get socialization and all this kind of stuff uh, when they're at school, at home for school. And so Stephen and Angelique just came back from a trip to Europe. 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 And where did y'all visit in Europe? Went to France, Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. Well, Austria. Four, Austria. Four countries. Yes. yes. And how long was the trip? 10 days. Four countries in 10 days. So would y'all say that that's uh, a great opportunity that your school offered? Yes. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yes, it was. Okay. So what are some of the things that y'all got to do on the trip? Uh, taste fondue. We got to, you know, we got to like go around different cultures, kind of see their everyday life and how different it is compared to America where we live. How, how much uh, slow paced it is compared to America. Yeah. And differences in simple things such as bathrooms. What about the bathrooms, Angelique? <laughs> the bathrooms you have to pay for. Yeah. You have to pay for the bathrooms. Yeah. It could be in a convenience store, it could be a public one, you have to pay for it. And then with seating, they're very particular. You have to buy something to sit down or use the bathroom. Mm. So that's, mm. that's definitely, yeah. Definitely a, a culture difference, right? It was right? a wake up call to be oh, grateful for the public bathrooms in America. Yeah. But amen. And there, and there was small towels. And small towels. Yes. Yes. Small towels was a was a whole limited housekeeping. Or or not at all until you check out. Yeah. yeah what one of one of the two. Mm -hmm. Uh but what so what are some of the, the things that y'all learned maybe historically on the trip? Everybody we, knows each other uh historically and a lot of people look up looked up to um it's either Napoleon or it's Louis the Fourteenth. I can't remember. It was which Louis, one. Louis the Fourteenth. Okay, yeah. A lot of people looked up to Louis the Fourteenth. Mm -hmm. A lot of people hated Napoleon. He was either you love him or you hate him. Mm -hmm. Most people chose to hate him. Okay. They embrace a lot of like you know past historical figures, and they kind of put it into their everyday life. Like I said, like. For example, we went to Austria and they talked a lot about Mozart. And it was a shocker to me because I really didn't even know he was from there or that he was that big of a deal there. Mm -hmm. So that was, yeah. a, that was pretty cool. Okay. So um, I also got to go on the trip and one of the things that I realized coming back to America, I actually didn't realize this until I had a conversation with a friend of mine and that's really just that America is such a young country. So we were walking through cities, y'all, that are literal That's historical old. right literal historical cities i mean so america's only been established since what 1776 yeah um these places we were walking through have been there for 2000 years and you know things like that so aside from the culture shock and some of the the history lessons that you learned there what what would you say to other people who think that there is no there's no socialization for kids who um, attend school at home, whether it's you know through an actual homeschool program or online public school, the way that you do it. Honestly, you, okay. you would think that there's not, but you have to be on the lookout for those emails that most people pass up or just click to be done with them. They send out newsletters like once a week or sometimes once a month mm -hmm. that give you opportunities to sign up for outings like the one we're at now at Raising Canes uh, for our back to school bash where we got to meet teachers and other students and socialize with them and eat. And eat, because that's very important. Yes. And Angelie, we got to use the free restrooms. Yes. yes. <laughs> one thing I would definitely say going off of Steven is that you have to be open yeah. to what they give you. Because what may seem small can grow into something bigger because we all have us meeting it was something like you know i didn't give much thought into it. i'm like okay we're going here yeah, probably not go i was like probably how not a lot of people anybody. are yeah not gonna be anyone and then we all kind of clicked and that was been like this we went to europe together we went to europe so we were very together. close so yeah I would yeah. become even closer. So I asked Angelie's grandmother if I could have her, and she told me that she, we, we could split, split custody. 
So, but when I show up at her house for, for her and her belongings, I hope that her grandma remembers this conversation, but we'll see. But, but there is an opportunity here to make to make friends, to make, maybe even make lifelong friends. And in addition to uh, just friends among the students, our families have become friends. Close. So I, I think that that's a blessing that we wouldn't have had outside of, uh, of, of Stride K-12. So thank you, Stride K-12. Any, any you. final words, y'all, about socialization, about maybe encouragement for kids for the upcoming school year? Be open to it. Don't be too afraid because um, with your with your fear, everybody there's someone else who has that same fear, and you may not know. It's like click. Yeah. And you know. Okay. And you just have that connected because that's how I was. Yeah, have an open mind to different things because you may learn to love it or to enjoy it while you do it. Okay, I love that so much, guys. Thank y'all. Real quick before I wrap up, um, Stephen, I want you to talk about the opportunity that Kate, that Stride offers through the esports team. And Angeli, uh, for you, you're, you just got back from Atlanta um, with with FBLA, right? So, uh, y'all, whichever one of y'all want to go first. Okay. So FBLA stands for Future Business Leaders of America. It is a student, a national student organization, strictly centered around business concepts and business related um, occupations so with it you, there's like a regional a state and a national level you compete at each one and then with, based on the place you get you move up but like based on your pathway or what you're interested in you can either take an objective test on the subject of your choice or you can take part in a presentation either by yourself or with a group in your chapter a chapter is basically like the people in your school um, and then also with our school, like TOPS, FBLA, we have our officers, so I'm the secretary this year. And we all get together for our officer meetings and then um, all together for our member meetings. And we all plan, we plan out through the year, we have different activities. We plan for uh, the state competition, we give out resources and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that there is going to be a club sign up i'd recommend joining it because you can meet other like-minded students and then you can meet myself who will be uh actively present this year so. what all right well thank you very much ma'am no problem sir and uh with esports to all my video game lovers like myself uh and video game enthusiasts the uh, stride k12 that's a stride word y'all enthusiast <laughs> <laughs> stride k12 offers esports so if you like to play video games like uh, i think they had among us fall guys minecraft fortnite valorant uh chess they have you can connect uh, and socialize with other people who love playing the same games you do mm -hmm. you don't even have to be super well known or good at the game you can just sign up because they have different teams they have like ball, it's like sports they have four city they have jv they have the c b d a teams that you could join and that way you can find friends and people to hang out with on your free time i personally have found uh, quite a lot of friends in that um the area that i love to hang out with on my free time and you met some of them in person in different I states do. yeah and you want a little money on the game. Do like, you, get to, you don't want people to count your pocket, but you no. want some money. <laughs> yeah. And you get to win money if you uh, if you uh, if you can play that game at a high level, you can earn some side cash. So that's a nice side hustle. Okay. Well, thank y'all. One, one oh, more ahead. important thing I forgot to mention. Uh -huh. With FBLA, you do get the chance to travel. So that's for state. We usually go to somewhere local for mm -hmm. everyone. We've been going to Galveston. For the past few years, we get to stay at a hotel for like three days. Mm -hmm. You get to you get to take part in workshops, visit with college booths, and just all around you meet new friends, network from all over. And then with nationals, they're traveling to different states. So you go out of this, like you go out of your state. Um, we went to Atlanta this year, and it's bigger, it's better than state because there's workshops, college, just the chance to win prizes. Um, sign up for different things where you can actually win money too. Yeah. And Stride pays for your trips they with FBLA, right? They pay for all of it. They give you a per diem check. So, so I, I guess you highly recommend I highly recommend it. <laughs> yes. That, that's what I, yeah. That's exactly it. Alright. So, it's your choice. Sign up. Sign I'm up like your school kids. kids. Hey, what's, what's our hashtag? We made up a hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag school use kids. kids. Yes. 
I'm, I'm gonna give you a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I said homeschool your kids. All right, all right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in.